everyone, I'm Suzette. I just recently learned about a new drink called a No Paloma and it is absolutely delicious. So I wanna share with you today how to make it. I'm gonna use my silicone spatula, the end of it, to model a couple of mint leaves. We already got a head start here, so it's a couple of fresh mint leaves. We're just simply gonna tap it on the bottom like this to model it up a little bit. We don't wanna break it just to uh, release the scent and the smell. I then have uh, half a cup of grapefruit juice here measured out in my micro pitcher. I'm going to add that. I'm going to add three tablespoons of honey. Um, honey is really hard to get off out of a measuring spoon, so I'm just going to eyeball it and we know three squeezes is roughly uh, three tablespoons. One, two, three, it's three tablespoons of honey. I've taken my um, limes and rolled them out a little just to soften them up. I'm going to take my serrated utility knife, slice those limes in half. The ser serrated utility knife is fantastic for cutting through anything with a thick outer skin and soft in the middle like your limes. Fantastic for tomatoes. I'm going to use my z zest and press, the press part, put my limes in and I'm going to squeeze out all four of those into my quick shake container. Quick shake is something that my grandmother used for making gravy. I know it's a favorite product in a lot of homes for making lump-free gravy. My mother had it as well. We use it and it is one of the most popular items by far. It's been uh, in homes for generations now. So just one more piece of lime and you can see it gets pretty well all of that lime squeezed out there. There we go. And I'm just going to add the this piece of my quick shake and I'm going to add the cover. What I want to do, actually I'm going to turn this this way because we want to use this like a little filter. I'm going to line the spout up with the Tupperware name here. You can also see there's a couple of little notches here. We want to line it up and turn it. If we line that up, then our quick shake won't waste, won't leak. I'm going to give that a little shake. I'm going to take my Tupperware glasses here and get some ice cubes that I have in my ice cube, silicone ice cube trays. With the silicone ice cream cube tray, they will easily pop right out of there. No twisting and turning. We can pop our ice cubes out of there. Easy peasy. I'm going to add my no Paloma, and then I'm going to top it with some Sprite. It called, the recipe actually calls for club soda. We're not club soda fans, so we're going to use a substitute of Sprite. This is the non-alcoholic version that we're making here. If you want to add alcohol to make it an alcoholic version, that is perfectly fine as well. Here's our no Paloma. Cheers.